family. Hey. <laughs> it is a video day in May. Today is the 10th. Is it the 10th, family? Every day I say the same shit. Huh? I know y'all be like, how this motherfucker do not know what day it is? Every time. Okay, today is May the 10th. It is 8.28 in the p.m. And I have come on to do a video a day in May. And I am doing video vlog number 10. Okay. Um, I got an um, uh, email um, in front of my sis from one of my sisters. And um, I'm going to read it to you guys really quick. And we're going to talk about this thing. I kind of read it last night because I was last night. I was kind of pondering on which one I was going to do. So I ended up doing that one about the self-esteem and all that kind of stuff. And then I said, okay, well, then I'll do this one tonight. Okay. Okay. So she starts off by saying, hi, Tina. I've been following you for 10 years. Actually, probably six. It's been six years since I've been on the platform as of March of this year. As long as you've been, or at, as long as you've been on this platform, I'm a silent follower and I probably only commented maybe a handful of times. I love you. I love your presence, perspective, and everything you stand for. And I need your help and who else to ask other than auntie. Me and my husband have been have a 10-year anniversary coming up. We've known each other since preteens, started dating at 16 and 18, two good Southern church kids trying to do the right thing. We married early, literally fresh out of high school. Two years into the marriage, I cheated. It lasted a few months. He found out I broke it off. I wanted to call it quits. He didn't. Two years later, I get pregnant. Well, panic, he picks up a second job. This place is even more strain on the relationship. And he cheats after after baby. Okay, so he cheated after y'all had the baby. But I think that's what you're saying because you got, he cheats after baby. Okay. He breaks it off. I find out. Simple facts. Hopefully, I wasn't biased. We've been in limbo for five years romantically. No one is cheating, but everyone is hurting, and we take care of the home and child together, but we need an intervention. What to do? XOXO. And it has your name at the bottom. Wow. Whoa, but you know what? I have to say that um, this is very common in a lot of people that married really, really young. Okay? And, um, because the thing is, you don't have no experience with nobody else other than your husband. So you can't really do no compare and contrast on anything because you just don't have it. Well, I didn't marry in my, you know, preteens like that. I got married, well, I met Tony at 20 and I think I got married at 22. Yeah. I, I met him at 20 and I got married at 22, but still in the same sense, that's still young to be in such a committed type of thing. You know what I mean? Especially all in. And especially for us as women, we're nurturers by nature. That's what we are. That's who we are. That's what we stand for. It's just part of our, part of our chemical makeup. And so we give it all in. So it's like, you know, I'm really tripping because I've never, honestly, honestly, I've never really heard of the woman cheating first. This is the first I've ever heard that. But then again, once again, you married very young. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, y'all wanted to do what was right or whatever and, you know, in Big Mama's eyes and... You know, and all that kind of stuff, you know, and y'all was messing around in school and things of that nature. So it was like, y'all might as well go on and get married, you know, and go on and have a baby for them. What does that have a baby for them? Do, you, do they still say that in the South? I know when I was in Shreveport, they used to say that shit. I was like, what is you saying that shit for? Have a baby for them? Oh, my God. I used to hate that because I never really understood it. 
you know, and so, but, but yeah, but, you know, by y'all being together all that at the time, everybody just put y'all together. It's like, y'all might as well go on and get married. But the thing is, y'all wasn't ready. I'm certain you know that now. And it's like now that you're actually growing into your mature self, you know, what was it, 10 years? So that means that still puts you in what, your late 20s or early 30s? That's still quite young. And now it's like you guys are in limbo because now you're starting to grow into your mature self. And it's like, damn, I've been married all this length of time to this motherfucker right here. I love him because I've been with this motherfucker. You know what I mean? I love him because I know him. But it's like, you know, there's a fork in the road because now you're beginning to grow and mature into yourself. And it's like you're just out, uh, outgrowing him. Just like he's outgrowing you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, I assume, okay, you asked me for my opinion. So this is just my assumption. Okay, it's the fact that there's a fork in the road because it's like there's a trust issue here because, okay, he done cheated, you done cheated. I have, n girl, wow, for real? You did it first? You straight did that shit first. That's crazy. I'm not saying nothing is bad with it. I'm just, I just never, you know, me, you know, when... I've talked to women and we always talk about our husbands cheating on us and stuff. We always, it was always the husband was cheating. And so, out of anybody that I know, do I know of anybody that cheated first? I don't think I know. I don't think I know. Not saying it is, you know what I'm saying, that this, this and that. Just saying that, hey, I'm, you know, I don't know. But... You know, I think you guys just kind of got married too young. And now that you're growing into your mature self, it's like, you know, I love you, but, you know, we got to keep this together because we got this baby now. Everybody done put us together for so many years. It won't even look right. I ain't trying to do that to the family. I ain't trying to do that to the church. And so it's almost like, um, you guys... Are you staying married because of that reason? Is is it because everybody is so accustomed to you guys being one? And it's like, you know, I love him, but I just kind of, you know, I kind of want to go on and do my own thing. And just like with him, he's like, well, I love her, but I wouldn't mind doing my own thing, you know? I mean, I want to take care of my baby, uh, you know, but it's like... You know, what What do we do? How how we work this one out, you know? And then, too, you know, that, that, that open marriage shit is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you ever really kind of get over that kind of thing, you know? And see, I never had an open marriage until we were done. When we were completely done and completely, you know, separated and stuff... Then that's when he did his own thing and I did my own thing. But in the beginning, especially when our kids were little goobers, you know, I was all in. You know what I'm saying? I was all in. And it hurts like a motherfucker. See, I don't think men really, really, really understand or grasp how it affects a woman's psyche when you cheat on them. You know? It's, 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 it's like a, it's a, it's a betrayal. It's like, you know, it was like, um, like I was getting cut with a knife. It was like all of my breath was just leaving from it. I mean, it was like a hurt, like you would not believe, you know, but then after each and every time, you know, it would get better and it would get better and it would get better. But like the beginning, oh my God, it was like my whole soul was shook. I was like, I just cannot believe this. You know, and and then I start finding reasons for me to stay, you know. But the thing is, <clears throat> I really didn't want to go, but I didn't know how to stay. No way. You know what I'm saying? So, if that makes sense to you. Because the thing is, you know, Tony was all I know. He was all I knew. It was like we had grew up together from, like, kids, you know. And it's like... I don't really want this motherfucker no more, but let's just be honest about the thing. I was a housewife. 
you know, and so, and it was like, hell, you know, I had nurse's license and shit, but, you know, I didn't have much work history because my husband was like, shit, all your shit do is pay for the child care any motherfucking way, so you might as well stay at home, <laughs> you know, verbatim, okay, and so it wasn't, it was never a, a thing that, that, you know, I had to ever go out and work like that, and, and I think, you know, I held some resentment, it was, it was a lot of resentment. You know, I don't want to throw my thing in here because it ain't really about me. But, you know, it, 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 you know, you tend to get, you know, have a lot of resentment. Especially, like, now it's been 10 years. Watch as the years go by. You're going to be looking back like, you know, I love this motherfucker. But it's like, nigga. And see, my thing is... Well, I don't want to change this into something else, but I can't do nothing but be honest, though, on some real shit. But, uh, you know, my thing is this. You know, like I was saying last week about marrying up, you know, ain't no motherfucking way in the world I could be stuck in a marriage that, you know, um, I, how do I say this and not be sound a particular kind of way? I can't. Maybe because I've just never seen it. I've never seen it. I never witnessed it. My mom never went through it. Neither did my sister. Um, one of my sisters was, um, was married, had been married before. Her husband since passed. But um, my mother nor my sister nor myself, we really had a, we never had a, a, a there was never a money problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, we married, you know, we married well, okay? So when you kind of marry well, um, a lot of times when those women, get, I, I hate to put it this way, but it's, it's just a true fact. And it, I mean, just look at it, though. Real shit, just kind of look at it. You know, because a lot of, a lot of you know, women have been cheating on, like Hillary Clinton and things of that nature. It's like, why in the fuck did you stay when you, you know... I mean, but when you're living well, it's hard to, especially when you put so many years in, it's like, okay, I done put in all these motherfucking years, and I'll be damned if this bitch gonna reap the reward from all this shit I done put in. You know what I'm saying? I'll be damned if I'm gonna be giving up all my shit to this bitch right here, because it's gonna always be a new bitch, you know? And I don't know why, but now... I, I don't I don't know why I said I don't know why, but now I did not I did not know why then, but I do know why now that my mom always told me Tina don't divorce him, he's a man let him do his shit that's that's what the, the, that's what these men do, you know that's what my mom would say that's what men do let him do him he's gonna always do that is that is, 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 is did he been cheat okay well then that's what he is. That, that, that's him. That is what he is. Now, don't divorce his ass, though. Let him do all that. He gonna eventually get tired. <laughs> and if he don't get tired, some shit gonna run out. One or the other. You know, so the nephew don't divorce him. But now, after all those many years, you know, and after all those years that I put in, when, I, when the judge final put the gavel down, You know what I'm saying? You know, that's what I'm saying. Why in the fuck am I... I am not getting ready to go through no 10 or 15 years with a motherfucker that, and we ain't going nowhere. We sitting up here struggling. What we what what the fuck? I mean, I can struggle. If I'm going to struggle, I'm going to struggle by myself. It's, it's too much. It's, 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 it's going to be too much if I got to struggle with me, you, and all these kids. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and the thing is, for me, honestly... You know, I, it's like, what kind of man can sit up and just watch a woman really struggle? And I, I'm, I've seen it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm very cognizant. I'll be watching this shit. You know what I'm saying? When I go up there to the fish market and shit, especially at this time of the month, motherfuckers' cards and money done kicked in on the motherfuckers. Oh, my God. That's when you see them niggas in the grocery store. They getting up. They grabbing shrimp and ribeye steaks and all kinds of stuff. And they down there at the fish market buying $40 worth of goddamn fish and shit and 
all that old type of shit. She slide her card and you know what I'm saying? He backed up, he's standing back watching and I mean just all kind of shit, you know? And it's like I don't know if I could be in no not no monogamous shit like that. Because I'm going to have to have me a nigga on the side that's going to show me my motherfucking worth. I'm just telling you that right now. I am going to need to have some type of balance because I'm not going to be able to deal with that for a long period of time. And then here, um, we're just struggling, 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 struggling. Can't get a head above water. Just struggling, 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 struggling. And then now you cheating on me too? Where the fuck they doing that at? Okay, you gonna cheat and then all this to go with it? Nah, it ain't even worth that shit unless you got a gang of motherfucking shit going on. I'm just gonna have to tell you. I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> no. Motherfuckers ask, okay, well, Tina, why did you stay? Because I had a badass motherfucking house. I loved my kids. I didn't want to charge them with all that shit. My husband had a hell of a motherfucking salary and pension and every motherfucking thing else. You know what I'm saying? He loved me, but... He was also, he was just a cheater. That don't mean that he loved me less. That just mean that motherfucker had a problem. That's what the fuck it mean. You know what I mean? It didn't mean that he did not love me. Let's be crystal clear because he had options. He could have been gone. You okay? But no, he took care of me and my kids. I mean, I mean, just... For that, I am forever grateful. I am forever ever grateful because I wouldn't have what I have today if it wasn't for the marriage that I was in. I would not I would not be the woman that I am today if I didn't go through all those things that I went through in my marriage. So I ain't even mad at him. Matter of fact, look, check this out. Mother's Day came through. He hollered at me, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about he coming back to California. Ain't that some shit? That's a whole nother motherfucking video because he don't live in California anymore, but now he's talking about moving back to this motherfucker. Okay, so it's like okay, I, okay, nigga, what 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 we got going on? Cause I done really done moved on with my motherfucking life, and I'm having fun right now. I don't want to be told a motherfucking thing on what I can and can't do. You know what I'm saying? No, I done been through way too much motherfucking shit to ask for permission. Fuck that shit. If it's something I want to do, I done already done done it. By the time you done figured it all out, nigga, I'm on part two, nigga. I'm, nigga, it's called rerun. I'm back on this motherfucker again. It's called a habit. Yeah. So, I don't know. You know, but that's kind of what happens, though, when it's... it's Merely a byproduct of being in a, in a marriage and there's been some in, infidelity issues. And when you stay for a long period of time, you begin to resent one another. You know what I'm saying? I, it would, I wouldn't even be feeling this way if it wasn't for your motherfucking ass. You the one started this shit in the whole motherfucking time. Uh, you drew first blood, not me. All that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You begin to resent one another. If we would have never even been through none of this motherfucking shit if it wasn't for your ass. And now that we do we went through all this right here and see, but see the cold part about it is he hitting you with it because you started the shit. You know what I mean? And 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 so now he like shit, okay, well then shit, I could do it too, Punchinella forty seven, huh? So then he went on and got him a little bar of it. Now y'all at the crossroads. Now now you saying that you know, we ain't doing it no more, but do you really know if y'all doing it anymore or not? You know what I'm saying? Once the trust is broken, not saying that it can't be remended, but, you know, once you do some shit one time, going back and double back, and it's always easier than the first. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you a smart motherfucker and ain't no dumbness in you, then therefore you already know how to not let, let your slip show. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know if I would just... But once again, that's your marriage. I'm merely speaking on mine. Once that motherfucker showed me all that shit for so long, nigga. Oh, listen. Look, you ain't getting no pussy tonight. Don't ask for none. It was like that. <laughs> so he had no choice really in the motherfucking matter because, nigga, I don't know what you're doing out there. You know what I'm saying? And I got three motherfucking babies in these rooms up in this motherfucker. 
You know what I mean? That That's looking for cream of wheat and shit in the morning. And I ain't got time for what you own right here. So, nigga, now, nah, you can go and eat my pussy. Yeah, you can go and do that. But uh, all that other, nigga, I ain't got no rhythm for you right now. I'm cool. So, he didn't really have much of a motherfucking choice, did he? You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest about mine. I can't do nothing but tell you the truth. But... Then, after you go through a resentment stage, and then when you become, you come to a point where it's just like, okay, well, look, check this out. Um, we're going to just stay in the same motherfucking house. You're going to do your thing. and I'm gonna do. It's just so disrespectful. You understand? It's so disrespectful when you go that route, though, because then, therefore, it leads to a whole bunch of shit. He coming in late, you coming in, you know what I'm saying, at dark o'clock, you know what I mean? Coming in, shit all twisted up, lace over here to the side, motherfucker was, motherfucker was the sinner's part at first. That motherfucker now got this motherfucker coming this way, some shit swooped up. I feel you, mama, you know what I mean? Nigga, it's, look, it's three what? Um, hello, good morning, yeah, you know, some foul shit get to happening after a while, if you don't be careful, you know, so I'm gonna ask that really, you and hubby, you know, you might, look, you might need to take to the house of the Lord, okay, cause this shit is bigger than me, it's bigger than me, you know what I mean, and I am never one to tell a woman to leave her husband, that's not my job, I can't tell you that, if any of your motherfucking partners ever tell you in life, girl, fuck him, leave that motherfucker, he ain't shit, the girl, fuck him, and all that old type of shit, they ain't got no motherfucking man, more than likely, more than likely, them the ones that ain't got no motherfucking man, they done read up on how it go, you know what I'm saying, they done daydreamed, and all that bullshit, and then watched all that bullshit on TV, and then gathered some information on how they think that it might go. Bitch, sit down. You ain't in this tilt right here. Um, you can't tell me to leave mine, because you ain't holding the same feelings that I'm holding. So you can't tell me that. So now, don't talk to some women about that, because some women, girl, fuck him, that's some bullshit. So see, now, I can't tell you that, but I will say this, though. Okay, I will say this. A lot of times, okay, when you are at a crossroads, you got to go back where things made sense. Okay, go back in your path when things made sense and then start back from there. But also, if your husband is a keeper and he's worth keeping and you don't want another bitch with your shit, then I'm going to ask that you kneel on to the ground and take this on to the house of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Go on and pray about this. Meditate about this thing, you know? Because the thing is this. It ain't, it's some bullshit out here, okay? It's some bullshit out in this motherfucker, you know? So do you really want to jump out of that and then jump into this bullshit where motherfuckers is out here on just a, some okie doke? Or would you rather... You know, work on your marriage. It was for better or for worse. You know what I'm saying? This is considered as the worst right now. You're supposed to go through richer and for poorer. You know what I mean? Now, I do understand that infidelity in a marriage is that, it, that constitutes the right for divorce. I understand that in the eyes of the Lord, okay? But... You know, hey, I, you know, if you saying you did it one time, he did it one time, and now y'all ain't doing it no more, and now both of y'all is just trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out, figure some shit out. If he's worth keeping, I'm telling you, you might want to work on your marriage and keep your husband. Really, real, real, real shit, you know, because these, it's some raggedy bitches out here that wouldn't give a damn about moving right up in your motherfucking house, Okay. Real shit, while you go back to your mama and them, take the baby and go back to your mama and them, shit, bitch. By the time you get on that greyhound, here come this bitch, beep, 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 this bitch backing up her shit right up at your motherfucking pad, okay? You know, so, now nah, you don't, you know, just kind of, you know, be mindful of that, you know? On that note, girlfriend, I am getting ready to go. It is 8.52 in the p.m. I'm getting ready to get comfortable, and I'm getting ready to watch Jungle Book. Yeah, one of my friends gave me the movie today, and so I want to lay up and watch this movie right quick and get comfortable. Yeah. So, anyway, on that note, I shall see you guys in the AM. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching a video a day in May, vlog number 10. I am out of this piece. I love you. Love you guys for watching. Mwah.